when I was 16, my little brother, who was 14 at the time, committed suicide. Um, at the time, we didn't know why. And a couple of months later, at the coroner's hearing, we'd found out that it was through cyberbullying. He had started to have a wee thing with a girl in my class, and a friend of mine, who was also my age, got quite jealous and started to abuse him. After his death, nine days later, we had another friend who he was in the relationship with follow. It's kind of really affected the rest of my life and my family and everybody in the town I'm from. Not, still not a day goes by where I don't question every little aspect of it and just wonder what would have happened if that person had done the bullying face to face instead of through so like using technology to do it because at least if it was in person he could see the reaction that he was causing and ho I hope that at that point that would have been enough to stop it not long after my brother and friend I tried I OD'd and was airlifted to Dunedin Hospital and yeah I've never quite been the same since yeah um part of mine was related to cyberbullying, I had tried to say this is a problem and we need to do something about it, but no one wanted to talk about it. It's just keeping an eye on their behavior after they've finished on Facebook or on their cell phone or laptop. And are they acting different afterwards? And are they a lot more quiet or are they getting angrier after? You could have a 13 year old who's on social media and you quite easily have a 16 or 18 year old picking on them. And you'd never know. You're in that position of being bullied, then talk to somebody. Even if you don't go, even if you're young and you don't go straight to an adult, just even just talk to a friend at the start. Just someone. Don't let it become too much that you can't deal with it on your own anymore. If it feels now like it's a dark place and you're not getting anywhere, just remember that one day you can do it. We all get there eventually.